Okay, today I'm here with Jacqueline Larita from the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So we're going to demonstrate the vampire facial today. So here I have Jacqueline with me. Mouth is numb. Why is your mouth numb? Because I went to the dentist today and I had numbing. And now I can't. I feel like a muppet. I can't move from like my face from here okay, down. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so you're already partially numb. We'll <laughs> numb you up a little bit more. Okay, so now we put a little numbing. My face is already numb from the bottom half. Thanks to my dentist. While the face is numbing, we'll take some blood Maybe. and we're going to extract the platelets out Maybe of the blood sample. Out. Here's a kit that we use to separate the platelets from the red blood cells and the plasma. This is a centrifuge that we're going to use to spin the blood and when the blood is spun, you can see that the blood is separated between the plasma and the red blood cells. We take the plasma and remix the platelets into the plasma. And now we have a concentrated solution of platelet-rich plasma. Then we'll use a microneedling pen to make tiny little channels in the skin surface. This process starts the cascade of healing and helps produce new collagen by attracting stem cells to the area to start repairing the skin. Even though the damage we create on the skin is microscopic with the little needles, the body senses it has an injury and starts the repair process. I feel a little bit. So this is red for how long? Mm, two hours. Alright. That's it? So this doesn't go as deep as say like the Fraxel. No. It's different. It's different though. Plus there's no heat involved. Okay, now you're nice and red from the nice needling and that's from the numbing as well. Okay. And that's all gonna go down. Now we're putting the PRP and nice. We can make it the platelet, less bloody. The platelet rich plasma. Yes. We can make it less bloody. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're putting it topically like this, mm -hmm. um, we get a little bit of, we lose less of the growth factors if we leave a little blood in there, but it wipes off. Okay. So you're saying it's better to have a bloody or blood mm -hmm. or not to have a bloody? So the clearer it is. Then... So there's different ways of preparing the platelet rich plasma. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we're doing it like this, we like to leave a little bit of the red cells in there because it's going to wash off, right. but you'll get, uh, you'll get some extra growth factors. If we were going to inject it into a joint, we don't want as much red cells in there. We try to get rid of most of the red cells because um, we don't want that inflammation to occur inside a joint. But when we're doing skin rejuvenation, a little inflammation is good. It helps that collagen production. Okay. So can you just review one more time what this is doing for me? So what we did was we used the little needles to create very controlled trauma. And that's tricking your body into thinking that uh, there's an injury and it's trying to heal it and it heals by producing collagen in the skin. The platelets are part of that healing cascade and when you normally have a little injury, the platelets release growth factors. And what we did was we took extra platelets from your blood mm -hmm. and we're applying it onto the area where we created that controlled trauma. And that is amplifying your body's healing response. So we're going to get refined pores, improvement in the fine lines, improvement of pigmentation, and just a little extra glow to your skin. And um, it does take a couple weeks for you to see that. And what I like to do is give you a little bit of injection of the product as well so that you can get that instant glow in your cheeks. 
Hmm. I bet I'm glowing right now. <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this stuff so why does it take a few weeks to see uh, the results? Because that's oh, yeah, how tailing? long it takes for the collagen to come in. Right. 